Hi, YouTube. I don't have a channel name, but, uh, you know, days are kind of long in these, you know, quarantine situations, so I hope everyone's okay. Um, what I have here actually is a diamond painting I've been working on, and what people have been asking me about is how do I use tweezers on diamond paintings and it's not that hard and I actually prefer tweezers on square paintings um, mostly because my hand doesn't hurt as much and I'm not fussing with wax all the time and I just I just find it I go a lot faster and I know some people are like oh my hands are gonna cramp and everything uh, not really you just have to hold it in a certain way like I know when you're like pulling out a splinter you hold it like like this like really tight up like that um, but I'm gonna show you how to hold it and uh, a couple benefits to doing a having a tweezer so basically a tweezer is amazing for squares because a tweezer will always pick it up perfectly straight and you lay it on perfectly straight. So how it goes is I let me find something. Hold on a sec. So I hold hold the the boat like this and I don't want to hold the tweezers like this because you can't see what you're doing and you can't lay it perfectly straight and flat. So like take a look. See how like I'm at an angle? You don't want to do that. You don't want to be in an angle when you're doing this. So you want to hold it like this. Now look at how flat it is and look at how quickly I can move from here to here versus this. It's like a little crane. Versus placing, placing, placing. And look at how flat. Now how do I do that is I want to how I get into this position is I imagine that I'm picking up my tweezers from the ground so I pick it up from the bottom and there it is so let me try it again why don't I try it somewhere where you can see it so there I pick it up from the table and that's my position so here's a little bit more about my setup here I've got Four, I usually work on four at a time. Um, if I see a big major space, I fill it in quickly with checkerboards. And then I fill in the rest with my diamond painting pen. So let's take a look. I've used a Sharpie for each boat because I have dozens of these. And when I want to erase it, I just color over it with a dry erase marker. Okay, so... Let's do this one. This is the super light. This is the super light one. So I'm going to hold this in my hands like this. Let's get this going. I mean, I've watched a lot of these. Oh my gosh, I need my light pad. Oh my goodness. Wait, do I even have my light? Oh, it's hiding. It's hiding. So I've been watching a lot of these, oh, and I shut it off. I've been watching a lot of these during my time diamond painting during my hanging out at home. So I figured I might as well give back. So I'm holding it like this and I'm putting it in a checkerboard. It's, I usually go a lot faster because when no one's watching, I promise. Let's see. So how many projects have you worked on? I mean, I have all these unfinished ones to do. What's frustrating about it is I have a lot of time and I'm so nervous all the time that I, I don't have the energy to work on things. It's kind of sad. Let's see. 
just going to do a little bit more. So as you can see, I'm holding up the boat. And if I didn't have a camera, I would have my hands fully like this and going like that. Oops. The nice thing about using tweezers this way is um, you can see, so you can definitely see everything and everything's all lined up in a groove. So you just kind of keep your boat, uh, I don't know what this is, uh, horizontal lines and then you just pick them up and place them down. Oops. My hands are shaking a little bit. So pick them up and move them. All right. Yeah, I've just had a lot of people contact me, not me, but I've seen a lot on like the Facebook groups, a lot on the Reddit, just saying, um, what is, like, what's your, like, how do you use the tweezers? I've been trying to use the tweezers, or, ow, the tweezers hurt. Well, this is how you use it. Let me just make sure that you're actually seeing us and standing up in a bit. Okay. So, I've done a little bit. Now it's time to fill it in. And this is where, I, like, I love using four colors at a time. Because you can do your... Uh, it really feels like painting, like because you're just filling it in, in the middle, with all the different colors. I want to make sure that they're horizontal, and I'm going to be coming from here. Sometimes if there's like a huge amount and I want to go fast, I grab a boat and I just place from there, but right now I'm just going to grab from here. And these are all things... I've placed using my tweezers. So this isn't for everyone, the tweezers, but it's helpful. It makes the time go faster and I'm not nervous about everything perfect. Like I notice everything is quite straight when I use the tweezers. And I want to start, kind of start from the center and build out. So there's a center part and I build out. So that way, like, I don't get to this weird, uh, like, tension in the corners or unevenness. It's all, like, equally distributed. Um, and I really like the advice from Tiny World of Wonder where she said, I think it was Tiny Worlds of Wonder, I'm not really sure. She said to like aim with your eyes towards the corner of a square. So like not the center, but like the corner where they all touch. And I know that sounds really weird and hard to imagine, but I I can't explain it, just, just try it out and it actually makes it a lot accurate. This is with the tweezers and with the uh, the pen. Yeah, I have this pen. I like the smaller Jim's pens uh, from Etsy just because the bigger ones, I have a bigger one, they just get really heavy. They get super heavy and I don't, I don't know if I want to have things that heavy. <laughs> like it hurts my hands. Like I type and I draw all day long for my work and typing even more now because I'm working from home. So it's like, it's like, ow, I can't get a break. So I noticed that my hands have been feeling a lot better when I use the tweezers versus the, uh, the, just the pen the whole time. Um, oh, look, I can change some colors. Boop. So I love going from like, if there's a space that has, like, four major pieces, and I, I find four, and I just fill it in as I go. It's so much fun. It really feels like you're painting. Oh, pick it up. Pick it up. I'm trying patty wax, and I'm... I just got it this week, and... I mean, it's nice. It's just a big learning curve, actually. So, I've been watching all the how to's about it. So
so let's see. I'm almost done with a little section. It's hard to talk while I do this. <laughs> Usually I'm just watching something. And if you're watching something too, I'd love to know what you watch or listen to during making things. Like my hands have to move. And before I did diamond painting, it was, I was eating potato chips. And it wasn't nice. <laughs> it's not the best way to use your hands. So, I hope that this little tutorial has helped somebody. Um, just to review, like, this is my setup. I have a teeny tiny pan. Um, I have four, it fits four of these perfectly. Um, I have a tweezers, and first thing I do is I hold the tweezers, not like this, because look at the angle, but more like I pick it up off the table, and it's like that. I hold the boat with the horizontal creases, lines, channels, whatever, and I grab, grab and put. Now, I can't do perfectly straight rows. This is only checkerboard and then you fill it in. Because you can't really put them in between. It's, it's just not big enough space. You're gonna have a problem. So once I've done a checkerboard space, I put the tweezers down, I pick up my little pen, and then I fill in the gaps. And because I have four out that are similar, like usually I do all greens, all blues, all whites, and various colors, then it goes much faster. And these, I'm not going to ever have like a green, a blue, an orange, and a purple. There's just too much of a space between it. But if you have like a diamond painting like this, this is about like 40 colors. Um, it helps to like go in groups of four of the same color family. Um, so that's basically it for my video. If you want me to ever make another video, sure, maybe I'll come up with a name or you can come up with a name. Uh, this is kind of a fun thing to do while I'm working on it. It's kind of motivating because sometimes these things feel super daunting and I get nervous about them and I'm almost done with this one. I'm thinking of doing a live on YouTube just because I've seen them and they're kind of fun. Just having people watch me do this live. And um, so let me back away from this so you can actually see this painting. This is a koi fish painting. Let me just zoom it out. This is a koi fish painting. So take a look. Um, I do have koi, but this painting is becoming more of a memorial to all the koi that I've lost this year. Oh, it's been, it's been tough. Just, I think, just don't name your koi until you've had them for a year. You know, just call them all Kenny or something. <laughs> yeah, call them all Kenny until they've survived a winter, and then you can start thinking of the cute names. So, thanks everybody. Uh, I hope you had... Well, I hope this was helpful for you, and I'm going to get back to work, so see ya. Bye.